Hello everyone, welcome to yet another video on technical analysis uh, video series. Uh, today I will be talking about moving averages, so let's let's uh, begin right away. So moving averages, let me just, just put in Google to get the real definition of it and then I'll explain how it works and things like that. So, so moving averages, basically it's, it's a widely used uh, indicator in technical analysis which helps um, to, for you to actually understand uh, about uh, the, the moving averages of a stock and things like that. So, um, if you uh, just just to 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 be on, uh, sh short and precise, moving averages is basically it will sh um, show you the trend of a particular stock. Uh, what does actually it means is is um, uh, for example you are uh, driving a car or or um, or, or a two wheeler. The, the the speed at which you are actually going, the the average speed which you are going determines your um, rhythm and and uh, smoothness of the driving. The same way, uh, a moving average is, is an indicator which is used to identify the smoothness, the smooth ride of of a particular um, uh, stock or an index, whether it is going in that smooth direction or whether it will continue uh, or not. So that's the reason. It's basically um, it's it, it's it it can show you the trend basically it uh, sometimes when there are multiple crossovers which i'll explain it to you in few minutes um, it will actually tell you how um, how powerful the trend is and things like that so uh, so there are two types of moving so that's that's basically moving average of a particular stock uh, that means how it is moving how what what is the average movement of a particular stock. Now, um, there are two types of moving averages. Uh, one is a simple moving averages, and one is an exponential moving averages. Now, uh, these are the two commonly used uh, moving averages. And simple moving averages is the simple average of a um, of a particular uh, stock or a security um, based on the closing prices only. So, if you um, if you are writing down five days moving average of a particular stock. Um, that means the five days moving averages, the closing prices of that particular stock divided by five. That will give you a five day moving averages. And uh, exponential moving averages uh, gives more weightage to the recent prices and the recent trend. And that's the reason it will give you a, um, it will help you to uh, give you a direction. Now let me um, uh, take you to the charting website to show you a small example here. And if I click on charts here, uh, you would, um, for example, I'll just, just put it for Nifty. And if I click on here Nifty, uh, these are the simple moving average and 200 day moving averages. Okay. Now, if you look at here, the the 200 day um, simple moving average is 11,556, but the uh, EMA, yeah, exponential moving averages is 11,679. The reason is, it is currently it has it has given you a bull run. The, it is been going in the positive from pretty long some time here. That is the reason the 200 day moving averages is will be more. The same goes in the opposite direction. If uh, the current trend is down, so this exponential moving average will be lesser than this simple moving average. Now, which are the moving averages which is important? Now, this is a very very tricky question. If, but there 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 is no. Um, uh, fixed answer for this, but there are a few uh, moving averages which you have to keep it in mind. I'll just, just put down in a notepad here: five-day moving average, eight-day moving average, thirteen-day moving average, um, twenty, fifty, hundred, uh, and two hundred. These are some things which you can actually keep it in mind. Um, five-day moving averages um, are basically. Um, uh, it's, it will show you the uh, about a week's uh, moving average. So that is the reason many people uh, you would have seen that um, uh, weekly weekly closing and weekly moving average is very very important. The reason is um, the there is a week uh, week closing which is very important from which you can actually identify a lot of things. Eight day moving average is basically one and a half weeks, almost one and a half weeks. Thirteen day moving average will be approximately two and a half weeks. And 20-day moving average is approximately one month, uh, so that basically a monthly moving average, you can say that. And then 50 comes as two and a half months, and uh, then 
um, then 5 months and then there is 11 months almost 11 months moving average is 200 day moving average so if if a stock is trading way below 200 day moving average then uh, that's not a not 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 a best place to enter a particular stock so that's something which you have to keep it in mind other than that um, for an intraday trader 5 days moving average uh, ema or sma um, and um, is very important uh, for positional one uh, positional trader for basically like uh, one day to seven days um, uh, trader i mean that's basically i call a positional trader eight days and 13 days moving averages are very important and um, for one month is basically all these are important five day eight day 13 34 and things like that and if you are a positional trader one month or longer then 50 day 100 day 200 day moving averages are very important now once so this is basically a clear uh, thing about the moving averages now there is something called crossovers that means if five day moving averages crosses eight day moving average now again now as i told you uh, now you might be asking the question whether uh, which one should we take uh, the simple or the um, exponential there is no hard and fast rule as such uh, but as you know uh, the difference exponential moving average will give you more weightage so that means exponential moving average will uh, always give you the current trend and if you follow the trend your returns will be more again of course um, you have to follow strict stop losses too which i will probably this is not the video where i am discussing all those things but i will discuss that in another video so basically what i um, uh, you should basically if you are um, an intraday trader especially you should follow the current trend so exponential moving average would make more sense uh, however, there will not be huge difference uh, since Nifty is a, have, would, would have a, a wide range you would get, but you know, sometimes in a stock you will get a narrow range. So if 5 day moving average crosses 8 days moving average price or any of these, so uh, if 8 crosses 5, these are, this, this, this term is known as crossovers, crossover of another moving average that's basically so if the lesser known the five day moving averages crosses eight or 13 and 13 this is basically a bullish signal which also means that there is a huge buying which is coming and due to which there is a huge um, position we, uh, the demand of this particular stock has been increased and you can take a buy position your stop loss should be basically somewhere here uh, five day moving averages um, especially five uh, one to seven days um, positional trader this would make sense now same goes with um, uh, 5 8 13 if, uh, if five day moving averages crosses 8 and 13 then that's a huge buying opportunity uh, 20 day uh, moving average crosses 50 then again it's a buying opportunity the same with the opposite crossovers is also true means if 50 day moving averages crosses 20 day moving average that means it's going down that's a bearish signal same goes with 13 day moving averages crosses uh, 8 day or 15 day then it's a bearish signal um, so basically based on that you can actually probably take a position but this this to understand this video this is basically about information about what is a moving average and how does it work so so this the, the, the two moving uh, to conclude uh, two moving averages which you have to understand very clearly um, is simple moving average and exponential moving average there is a calculation of exponential moving average which you would uh, you don't need to actually learn it but just remember that it gives the current weightage it, it gives more weightage to the current trend so if it is a bearish trend it will be lesser than um, a simple moving average if it is a bullish trend it will be more than uh, generally it will be more than the simple moving average the, and in in this particular website you can actually set up few indicators here and uh, there are uh, five moving averages which you can set here but this this, this video is not about setting up uh, charting so that's that's basically about moving averages so that's uh, about and crossovers and um, how you can identify crossovers is another topic altogether so that's pretty much about moving averages again as you see here there is a simple moving averages formula here and uh, uh, exponential moving average formula which you don't actually need to remember because nowadays softwares and online um, um, links on online websites already have this particular moving averages so you don't need to manually calculate it
So that's pretty much about this video. If you still have any questions, feel free to drop a, a question on the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you, and I will see you again on my next video.